Hi everyone, my name is Adam and today I'm going to show you how to use smart collections and save searches within ACDC Photo Studio Ultimate 2020. The two tools have very similar functions. Uh, again, uh, much like categories and keywords, how you use these really comes down to your own management workflows. Uh, let's show you how they work. Let's start with save searches. Save searches are a component of the properties uh, panel within manage mode. You might not see the search tab by default in manage mode. So to turn it on, you simply navigate to panes and select search from the drop down bar. This will place the search tab to the right of the properties tab. Saved searches show a couple different fields where we can refine our search criteria. Let's have a look at them. Uh, the first one is refine by specific file names or folders. And the second one here is search for files containing text that uh, are within these checked fields. Once you've entered some criteria in the above fields, we're going to select a modal button that specifies to look in our whole database or within a specific folder or category. Finally, you can add specific file properties by clicking add. That will bring up a dialog box that allows for the inclusion of multiple properties. Let's make a search. Uh, I'm going to search for a file with the name of mountain with the keyword of winter. Uh, I'm going to search through my entire database and I'll specify that I want an unrated image. I can run this search by pressing start at the bottom of the search panel and I can save this by clicking the blue save icon that's at the top right. I'll name the search by clicking uh, Save As. I can then load the search at any point by using the drop down bar within searches. Let's head over to Smart Collections and have a look at them. They function very similarly to saved searches, but they are hierarchical, meaning that you can assign a folder structure to your Smart Collections. I'm going to open up the collection pane on the left section here next to folders. If collections aren't appearing for you, once again navigate to panes and select it from the drop down. We're going to create a new set. I'll do this by right clicking and selecting create new set. We're then going to create a smart collection within the set we just made. We'll right click again and make our new collection. We'll title this collection 100 ISO and add that exact criteria by navigating to EXIF, camera info, and ISO. We can then change the number of the ISO that we want to bring up. In this case, I'll change it to 100. Clicking on our smart collection is going to show us each image in our database with those criteria. And that's it. Thank you for watching, folks. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Take care.